Good morning, Rangers! Today is Tuesday, February 13th. I'm Maria. And I'm Malin. And, and welcome, welcome back to CTV. Today our boys varsity basketball team will be playing against Elkins at Hobson from 7 to 8.30 p.m. Our varsity softball team will be competing against George Ranch at George Ranch from 6 to 7.30 p.m. Our girls varsity soccer team will also be competing against George Ranch at Clements from 7.15 to 8.15 p.m. Lastly, our boys' varsity soccer is going against George Ranch at George Ranch from 7.30 to 9 p.m. Lastly, this past weekend, the swim team competed at 6A Regionals and Advanced State. Congrats, guys. Now on to Oliver with the weather. Good morning, Clements Rangers. Take a look at our Tuesday's weather. After the very cold temperatures we saw this morning hit 38 at one point, it will start warming up into the 60s around noon or so. We're currently in the 50s, but don't worry. We're getting there. It'll cool down into the 40s around nighttime. That'll persist into Wednesday morning. So not too bad, but you do want to pack a coat if you're going out late. Now the news, we have perfectly clear skies over the Sugarland area right now. That should persist for the majority of the day. However, we could see some slight cloud cover very late tonight. That will persist into Wednesday. So not bad, but not completely pristine tonight. But we'll guess we'll take it. Well, this is all from the of CTV, and that was your... Sugarland weather. Thanks, Oliver. Orchestra Symphonia is having a concert in the CHS Auditorium from 7 to 9 p.m. Make sure to go and show your support. Seniors, it's that time of year. QR codes are posted around the school for diploma name verification. Please make sure to complete the survey by February 22nd. Seniors, if you'd like to submit a senior quote to be under your senior picture in the yearbook, the deadline is February 14th, 2024. Check with your English teacher or senior teacher for the QR code. After the 14th, the submission form will be closed. Clemens Latin Club is having a Spirit Week at Piatas this week. You can order online any day this week, Monday through Saturday. The in-store event will be Friday, February 16th. Be sure to stop by and support Clemens Latin Club. ASA is having a wax museum on February 29th at 5.30 p.m. here at Clemens. <laughs> now on to Ali with the world news. Hey Rangers, I'm Ali, and this is your world news for Tuesday. Firstly, Kansas City Chiefs won the Super Bowl on Sunday against the San Francisco 49ers with a final score of 25 to 22. In the rematch of Super Bowl 54, the game was a thriller that went into overtime and ended with the Chiefs' second title in a row and third title in the last five years. Secondly, according to NBC, there was a shooting in the Lakewood Church in Houston by a woman who entered the church with a five-year-old child. Two off-duty police officers responded to the firing, ending with the shooter getting shot fatally and the child also passing away later from injury sustained. In other news, the Chinese Lunar New Year kicked off on Saturday with the world's largest balloon. The 140-foot-long sculpture was made of 38,000 balloons and was built by 60 volunteers over the course of a couple hours. It would remain on display until the end of the week. That was your world news for Tuesday, Rangers. Now back to the anchors. Thanks, Ali. The final day to register and pay for an AP exam for the May 2024 administration is Friday, February 23rd. You must have paid for your exam in full and rough track, and your AP exam status should be a yes in AP classroom by the end of the day on February 23rd. Failure to register and pay for your exam by the deadline will result in you missing out on the opportunity to take the AP exams for 2024. If you have any questions, please email Ms. Drake. Now let's go to Jamie and Zia with a dating game. Hey Rangers, it's Jamie and Zia, and today we're going to be doing the CTV dating game. Let's go. Okay, the first question is, what's your idea of an ideal first date? First ideal date, I'd say going bowling and getting some food. I'd probably say like mini golf or top golf, like something casual. I'd probably say like arcade games and then maybe like dessert after some ice cream. Top two qualities in a girl. Oh, I prefer her to be like driven and I guess funny. I would say ambitious and smart. I'd say loyal and honest. Do you believe in soulmates and why? Yeah, I do because I think there is someone out there for everyone else. Uh, personally, I don't because you can't be like perfect for anybody. There's always like some flaw. Yeah, I agree with that. I don't believe in soulmates, but I, everybody can find the right person, but it's just like, it's not like guaranteed. Which guy do you choose? The one that said the arcade games. I chose him because I think arcade games are like a really good first date. It's a good conversation starter and it shows how fun you can be with just games. Yeah! Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching. Now back to the anchors. Thanks guys. The library will be hosting a Lunar New Year celebration today after school. 
There will be activities such as origami, paper cutting, bookmark making, and other fun games. Be sure to stop by. Student Council is hosting a battery recycling drive starting now until February 26th. Please drop off your used batteries at Ms. Badillo's room 1317. Congratulations to the people listed for qualifying to compete at the Texas Forensics Association State Meet. The competition is from Thursday, March 7th to Saturday, March 9th at the Houston Marriott. That's all we have for today, Rangers. I'm Malin. And I'm Maria. Bye! Bye.